Good morning. It's Friday, April 24th. Today, we're going to go down the rabbit hole a little bit. We're going to do something called Freaky Friday. Hope you enjoy. Well, good morning, party people. It's time to go down a rabbit hole here on Freaky Friday. So, this was brought to me by someone that I listen to that is market trading on YouTube. Now, they have a decent following, so I'm not going to mention their name. Seems like when a lot of people talk about fringe stuff on YouTube, they get demonetized or their channel pulled. And I don't want them getting in trouble, but they normally do market forecasting. What should you trade? What should you hold on to? You know, all that kind of stuff. But they mentioned <clears throat> something on their show, kind of under their breath, that would be interesting to look up. So we are going to look that up. So you can see I'm just on my Google homepage. But we are needing, we are needing, I can't even talk. We're going to need to go to the World Intellectual Property Organization, which holds patents. So we're going to be looking at patents today, people. Hang with me. Lightning speed internet. Hey. -o. So we're on the main page. Now you have to, it's, it's a pretty complex in-depth page. I mean, it's the World Patent Office, basically. So we're gonna go to their portal. Because we're gonna have to look something up. We need to go to patents. We don't have a login. I don't have any patents that I'm aware of. So we're gonna need to look at patents. Probably patent scope, I would imagine. Now, I want you guys to type in W O capitalize 2020. This is the patent number 060606. You're going to search that. And what you have is a cryptocurrency system using activity data of your body. There's a lot of documents that have been filed this month in March that you can go and look at of the initial publications, people writing in about it, saying that they had this technology first, yada, yada, yada. But if you want a snapshot, maybe go over here. You got a little drawing. Looks like the publication date was the 26th of March this year. Looks like it was filed though in June of last year. But anyway, you can read a whole lot on this thing if you go to the description. Man, it is just legalese on legalese of page upon page of data, which is fascinating. I read a little bit, but I love this part. It says the cryptocurrency system will communicate with a couple device so that the user may verify if body activity data satisfies one or more condition set by the cryptocurrency system and award cryptocurrency to the user whose body activity and data are verified basically. So, I mean, hey, if I can get paid to like work out all the time and like earn Bitcoin because of that, that'd be pretty sweet. I don't see how they can use this for anything sinister in the future related to things we're going through right now. Lots of job loss. Technology taking over jobs. I don't know, maybe we go to a universal basic income and the way that you mine for your income is by doing things that they tell you to do. Seems pretty legit. Hopefully it's all related to working out. What I forgot to tell you in that lengthy search was that Microsoft filed that along with some other companies and people who created things underneath Microsoft, but they were the ones that filed it. So you'll see that if you go look it up. Just thought you should know. Well, yesterday the markets were up a little bit, but they were up, which is amazing because like four plus million more people went on unemployment and the market's still positive. Nothing makes sense anymore. I'm sure there's manipulation somewhere. I don't have enough power to figure out who that is. I can only imagine it's a combination of a lot of people doing a lot of things to keep things propped up for us, which I guess, hey, at the end of the day, might not be a bad thing. You never know. But since it's Friday, I'm going to say up. Oh, why not? Let's just say the market's going to be up today. 
I'm gonna grab those candy cigarettes. They're around here somewhere. Well, they're too far to reach. They're back here. But we're gonna wager those again and multiply our stash of candy cigarettes. As for the weather, it's gonna be getting pretty nice today. Let's scroll through here. Currently, early in the morning, it's 47 degrees and cloudy. Looks like we may have a little bit of a patchy sunrise. Probably gonna be mostly cloudy. But then, about 8 a.m. on, looks like it's gonna be sunny, some mixed clouds and sun all day. 50s working its way up into the high 60s later this afternoon. And then it gets cloudy again tonight, but low in the 50s, so pretty nice day overall. So if you got a chance to get outside, take that chance, risk it, and get outside. Well, it's been real. It's been fun. I've got some pretty awesome bangalangs today. But we're gonna go out with another drum fill on Friday. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>